and we are back. I'm sorry I had to take a five minute break, but I was very hungry. I needed the moment. But now we're back and I'm coming back to you with great news. We've been live on air for three hours and we have three million views. Thank you so much, guys, for watching us, for making this possible. And I'm really, really happy and super, super proud. Thank you so much. When we were putting together this live-a-thon and discussing the various topics and the causes that we wanted to talk about, we realized that there was a lot of work being done in so many areas. As individuals, we are far more powerful than we realize, and social media can be a big ally. Our next chat is called Do Your Bit, a subject that involves all of us. It is easy to raise awareness and have a discussion on changing the world, but the real challenge lies in actually going ahead and doing your bit. So today we highlight some of the many change makers that believe in the power of doing and the ones who not only dream crazy, but also do crazy. Have a look. First on the panel is Afroz Shah, a lawyer by profession, but an ocean lover and environmentalist at heart. Second is Karishma Mehta, the human behind Humans of Bombay. Accompanying her is Dr. Zareen Bharucha, Chairman of Federation of Bombay Blood Banks. And lastly, we have Dr. Heeraj Christopher Kaveri, who is a renowned donor, counsellor and motivator. Now it's super exciting for me to be on this panel with these incredible people who have done so much that I feel like I've done nothing with my life right now. Froze, I'm going to start with you. <laughs> You clean the beach and some would say, uh, what's the big deal? It is a very big deal because you showed it to us that we could start changing our neighborhoods and leave, leading it into a revolution. I've also lived in Varsova and I've seen that beach countless times, but I never thought the way I look at it now could ever be possible. And the way it smells now, I never thought that would be possible at all. So tell us your journey, how you led by example and eventually built a community which has so many people doing what you do. First of all, uh, a little correction, Priyanka. It's oh, just not no, about... No, I hate being corrected. <laughs> it's just not about uh, beach cleaning. Right. This is a module you work on from right from beach cleaning to circular economy. You are faced with garbage. So what do you do with garbage? Beach cleaning is a part of it. No, I am uh, saying that because I lived in Versova, yeah. that's where I saw the <laughs> change. Yes. So what you do is uh, basically, Versova, you've lived, you know how it is. The whole Bollywood stays there. Uh, there's a loss of sense of belonging, Priyanka, to all of us. We think this garbage is generated by us, and this must be cleared by local municipality. I have voted a politician. I must chase him. So that's why you see on social media so much bitterness, yeah. so much attack. They say, Mr. Modi, you come and do it. I have paid Swajh Bharat says to you. I voted you. But you see, our constitution and our planet Earth tells you something else. There's a different story being told to us. And you rightly saw the constitution frame makers put it. We need to have a that sense of belonging. It's my duty as much as duties of the elected representative. So people and have say, a sense of civics, like I have a little yeah, civic yeah. sense ki apne ghar ko saaf rakhte hain, to yeah. ghar ka bahar bhi to hamara desh hai. Like fishermen at Varsova, I'll tell you, unke ghar itne clean hote hain, aap bahar step out karo, pura garbage. Correct, exactly. To mein unse poochta tha, kyun aisa karte ho? Bole, wo municipality karegi aake. Wo hamara kaam nahi, hamara ghar to saaf. Yeah. So this, to get that sense of belonging is so, so crucial, Franka. Without that, it doesn't work. You can get the best infrastructure, the best politician, the best law, best governance model. And I say it as a lawyer who works at Bombay High Court. You see orders of judges passed line by line, and you know what happens to the orders yeah. at the ground level. So you, you see the involvement of an individual is the key. Yes, the big companies must do it, the big governments must do it, the big corporates must do it, and everybody should get involved, but the individual must. You can't leave. Do you live your love life to others? Yeah. Can you say love, make love to others? Yeah. or fall in love with others, you do it yourself. And when you love environment, you'll have to do it yourself. And having That's a sense key. of responsibility, having an individual civic sense, I always say that I also had a neighborhood that was clean in the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Ke and that was my conversation because there was, all the houses were yeah. really clean. And right outside the house, there are dumps and mountains of garbage. And I said, now yeah. this garbage, ko, I mean, 10 feet away, there's a big garbage can. Just yeah. yeah. dal sakte ho. But it has to come from within. And I think as a society in India, we need to understand if we don't do it, it won't happen. Yes. Our population, you see, 1.3 billion people. Now, yes. of course, you didn't have Facebook or Instagram till 2016. No. 
what triggered you the need to be so active <laughs> on social media and how do you think it's impacted the mission that you have i'll tell you there are two aspects to when you do uh, community so, action when you meet people up one is you start that language of love and it's very rightly shown by mahatma gandhi you see people may think it's fossilized 70 years back yeah. what happened actually it's so yeah. apt we need to converse we need to converse as human being there's a problem what do we do and that conversation I started, and once the community build-up happened, my volunteers told me I have to come on Facebook, <laughs> open an account. I was very reluctant, Pranga, to tell you the fact, because I didn't want to win public care. My work was at the ground level. But they told me one thing, Afros, if you put it out there, more will join in, more will see. It becomes a movement. And it did, I'll tell you, it did. You know, when I came on uh, Facebook and Twitter, uh, the UN environment head then, Eric Solham, wrote to me and said, Afros, what are you doing? Within a month of my work, you must have seen it. And finally, he came to clean. The UN environment had landed in Warsaw to clean. And my interaction at the dinner, and he launched a clean sea campaign world over. There you go. You okay. see a single person starting at a beach saying that I will do something. And this plastic problem is huge. It's not just about cleanup. I'm telling you, if cleanup is one part of it. The whole grinding has to happen in our life of how do you get a plastic into a house and how do you tackle it at the end of the day. So you see, Facebook did get you what, what you wanted actually. Because you can also provide that kind of information to people who want to yes. seek it. Because kya hota hai na, ki bahut log chahte hai karna, yes. lekin unko pata nahi kya se kar sakte hai. Correct. Unko wo correct avenues yes. nahi pata hai. So this is such a great example of using social for good, because once you create that page, there are, I know as someone who wants to know what, what yeah. a prose does, and how he does it, I will go to his social page and I will get everything I will get. And that is such a great example. Thank you so much, Afroz, thanks, for thanks. everything that you do. Karishma, my question is for you. While Afroz here works towards building an on-ground community, Karishma here is uniting people online through human stories which are very heartfelt and very intimate. But I'm sure it's not very easy to get a story out of people. And especially when you're just a stranger to someone. So how do you go about like, what's the first thing you'd say to someone to, to get a story out of them? Um, so most of our stories happen on the ground. Um, right. So the most common question that we get asked is, how do you talk to people? Yeah. And we literally choose a place, say, like Bandra or Worli, and we just start shooting and talking to people on the street. And our, con our, our interviews happen like a conversation. We genuinely want to know. So our opener is usually, hi, how are you? Or uh, how's your day been? And as soon as you ask that question, people automatically feel like you care. And like, it's not yeah. just something that you're doing to get a story yeah. or get information. You actually care about the individual. The individual. And you care enough to know more. And um, based on those conversations we've had on the street with people we've never known, conversations up to an hour. And wow. where they and just people open up to you where like they sit and completely. talk, they talk about they've spoken wow. about abuse on the street. They've said this people have broken down in front of me and cried and said, um, "This is my life." And they've never met me before. They probably will never meet me again. But that little interaction meant so much. And when I share it, when we share it with our audience, and the audience resonates and sends love and sends. Um, messages of like appreciation, they look back and they think that they're not alone. And I feel like that's what our community is about, that whatever you're going through, you're never alone. You have a sense of support. And social media can do that in such a great way. Now, Karishma's intention with the page has always been to change the world one post at a time. Yeah. Can you tell me how you intend to do that? Um, so we got into crowdfunding uh, about two years ago. So um, we told a story of the daughter of a sex worker. Um, these girls are all out of the Kamatipura region, and uh, they're daughters of sex workers, but are out of it. Um, so when they go and stay at a particular building, uh, and the landlord finds out that this is their background, they kind of throw them out. And this is what happened two and a half years ago, where they were unlawfully removed from their home without a deposit, without anything. And they were girls from the age of 13 to 20 uh, who were on the streets. And the, the, the owner of the foundation, the NGO, called me and said, can you do anything? And I'd never done anything like this before. I said, um, sure, let me just tell her story. And uh, I spoke to this one 14-year-old girl who said, why do you call us dirty? You know, um, my mother does what she does because she, it, she doesn't know anything else. And she's doing it for me. She loves me. And she supports me. And I'm, I'm proud of her. And um, I went on to tell our audience that this is what's happened with them. And if you can help, please help. And I asked uh, Robin, who's the, the owner of Kranti, how much money do you need? And she said, I guess five lakhs. 
and I posted it and overnight we raised about six and a half lakhs because wow. people were just so touched and moved that they felt the need to go beyond a like or go beyond a share or a comment and genuinely help somebody's life out. And that was two and a half years ago and today that number is six and a half crores we've raised wow. in crowdfunding. We've saved about 50 lives and it's all through our community. It's all through social. And that is what is so incredible about social media that, you know, we can create any kind of change we want because there will be someone out there in the community that will think or see things the same way that you do. And you can use social media instead of wasting your energies on like writing comments on people and trolling people, use your energies with, like how these guys have to change the world for a better place. And it doesn't take much. Human, I believe in humanity. I believe in human beings and I believe in the goodness of people. And that is what we need to focus on and that's what we're celebrating today. Dr. Zareen, it's so wonderful to have you here. When it comes to doing social for good, a lot of times a lack of awareness results into a lack of voluntary participation. Now, Dr. Zareen has been actively working towards blood donation for about 50 years now. Can you tell us why there's a lack of active involved, why there's a lack of active volunteers? The most important thing, as you really said, it is the awareness. Right. There's no community awareness. We really lack there. Yes. A lot of community awareness is required. Uh, so that, and community has to understand that what blood is required for the community has to come from community. From the community, absolutely. You cannot accept, expect that government will bring blood yeah, or somebody will from? make it in a factory. There is nothing like that. Yeah, only God blood is comes only from the human being and people have to donate. And people and need it. it. And if we want safe transfusion, we need safe blood. And if we want safe blood, we want a safe donor. And the safe donor is who? who donates blood voluntarily without any expectation of any money or any other gratification. Yes. So that is what we want them to understand, that people have to donate. But that is not happening even today. Many years back, there was a PIL which came in from uh, common causes of one of the social organizations. And then the Supreme Court said, that we have to have a national blood policy, we have to have so many things. Right. And national blood policy said that we have to have voluntary blood donation. Mm. And it is the hospitals which have to be responsible for getting the voluntary and doing donors. Drives, maybe. Yes. But in, that is not happening even today. That blood policy was uh, formulated in 2002. Today we are in 2018. If you go to a hospital with a patient and the patient requires blood, the relative will be called and told that your patient requires surgery and needs blood. Please arrange for donors. Is that right? Oh no. God, not at all. And that is what is happening. Actually, after the Supreme Court judgment in 1998, January 1st, in the country, we stopped professional donors. That means the people who were paid and blood was taken from them. They have been... Stop. Stopped or banned. But even today I hear that some in some place in the country, young boys will be called and they will be given a mobile phone so that they donate blood. Or there are donor organizers who organize mega camps and they give them a blanket or they give them, give them a stainless steel big vessel so all the people who want it they go and donate so, blood. Now, is that voluntary So what is the donation? solution no. to that, Dr. Zareen? Because, so there's, there's such a dichotomy to this argument, yes. right? How do you, ins what is the incentive? Do people need an incentive? Or do we as a society need to understand that if we don't do this, someday it's going to come upon us, that we'll be in a hospital or someone you love yes. is going to be in a hospital yes. and there won't be and any And that's blood. why there has to be a community awareness that we have to keep all the blood banks full. Hmm. Now, we have 1.3 billion population. Yeah. And WHO says even if 1% donates out of that, that would be enough require for requirement. Are we doing it? No, it is not happening. Yeah. That's where the replacement comes in, not otherwise. So everybody has to understand that they have to donate voluntarily, and they can donate very easily. And yeah, it's all not, it's these, not... You know, 
the, the younger people, we, I think there is a great need in our country to introduce school programs or junior college programs where they are told about it. Because and it's really actually logically sitting here and talking to yeah. you and being the daughter of two physicians. Yes, I know. I absolutely understand that. Like we used to have blood donation drives in my mom's, right. um, in my mom's hospital, I remember. And uh, I used to always make fun with my friends that I'll donate so much that I'll faint. And like we used to always joke about it. Yeah. That, um, but it's so true because, you know, there could be a day that you or your loved one is in a hospital and you won't have the availability and it does not take much at all. You don't need the incentive of money. You don't need the incentive of, of getting something to do something good for the world. And this is exactly what we're talking about in terms of using social media yeah. for good, providing education and providing people uh, with the fact that they, this needs to happen. They have to donate blood and they have to, everybody has to understand that they, if they are healthy, they can donate every three months and they should donate. And you'll then, be fine if you donate yeah, every three months. Nothing will happen will be to fine. you. You will be fine. Blood and regenerate you, karta hai body body. Pump karta hai. You will save another patient you with save your somebody's blood. life. Yeah, you save somebody's life. Absolutely. And so, sometimes not one life, three Multiple lives. lives. Yeah. Because we separate various components and those are given to different, different patients. So they are all benefited with that. So when we're talking about so, doing your bit, this is one of the easiest, simplest yeah. things that you can yeah. do to do your bit towards society. Because all of us need to have a social responsibility and take it seriously. Right. Now, I just want to come to Dheeraj. Now, Dheeraj works as a donor counsellor. Tell me what are the usual myths or questions that you know donors have to you? Common as what you said is, uh, uh, I'll faint or I'll get weak. Yeah. It's a very common excuse people give. But blood donation itself is a very simple process. Your body has enough blood, excess and it blood. Keeps making it enough. keeps regenerating new blood cells. So it's actually healthy for you when you donate blood. And the process of blood donation is very well regulated. So it doesn't like you don't, you use uh, every aseptic precautions. Fresh black is taken, needles are safe. Pre-donation, you do your uh, hemoglobin testing, your uh, BP testing. So there's proper safe procedures before blood donation. And even after blood donation, there are a lot of tests like HIV, hepatitis. So in, in a way, it's like I am taking care of my health and donating blood. It is actually rewarding me first. So it's an absolutely safe process. That's a myth which people don't, uh, which is still carrying forward. I hope Other, everybody heard that. It's a complete, complete myth. Yes. That yes. something will happen to you right. or that you will become weaker. The body has excess blood. And I want to really reiterate that. Yes. And the other myth is my blood is very common. To be very true to now, 12 o'clock I got a call from my friend whose relative needs O positive blood. Now O positive blood is one of the commonest. And donor gives excuse that my blood is very common, doesn't need it. Actually every few seconds there is a need for blood. So let us be somewhere for someone and donate blood wherever we are. Yeah, whenever you, it's so easy. Whenever you go into the hospital for any other reason, just donate blood and come out yes. of it. Or just if you have time, it doesn't take very much. Now, why I'm saying this is because, and Dheeraj is re leading by example. I have made, I have heard that you have made a goal of donating at least 50 times before he turned 50 and achieved that goal by 38. 39 and uh, it's, I finished 52 in September, aiming for December 5th, I'll be doing my 53rd. So, uh, <laughs> uh, it started with a simple, 1998, I started my first donation 20 years back and uh, during graduation and we are from medical school so we see a lot of patients with road traffic accidents injuries surgeries so we see the real demand for blood there so it started developing then post graduation post marriage i donated with my wife so she almost did more than 15 times so and then when i moved to hyderabad joined ROE blood bank which i represent now now there are a lot of thalassemia children so yeah. these children need blood literally like two to three weeks one unit sometimes as they grow older it's literally like two units every 15 days so it's really pain their demand that's on one condition then you have leukemia, then you have pregnancy cases, you have road traffic accidents, heart surgery, so many cases. So you shouldn't wait for any emergency or a call. You should become a voluntary donor. Just walk into the nearest zone, uh, nearest yeah. blood bank and donate blood. So I targeted that, let me check whether I can fulfill those demands. So I target, I, I put a hashtag 50 before 50. Love that it. is 50 blood donations before I turn 50, my 50th birthday. And, and Dheeraj is sitting here alive and kicking. Nothing has happened to him or Dr. Zari. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. 20 and years. And they are absolutely doing their bit. Now I want to ask you, Afroz, when did you realize that you can and you wanted to do your bit for society? Like what happened at that time if you couldn't go back? See, I, Priyanka, to 
uh, to honestly tell you, I was doing this off social media. But the fact that I came on social media on Facebook and Twitter, that's when people started noticing. At Warsaw, if you're from Warsaw, Warsaw has beautiful mangroves. They're so ecologically fragile, sensitive. You ask anybody at Warsaw, he'll say there's a tree existing, but we don't know what it is. So at the age of 14, I would go in those mangroves. There's a huge ecosystem there in terms of crabs and you name it. So I was attached, I was doing it, but you see this whole community development wasn't happening. It was my individual sojourn there, go there, do what you want to do, as we always do, come back. But then when I saw so much garbage at the beach, which was five and a half feet uh, for three kilometers, I told myself, this is not possible. I'm not going to do it all alone. I can work for the next 30 years. So the next logical step is you provoke others to come on. And the provocation in this day and world, people think by making a good law, a good policy, prime minister shouting from the f uh, rampant of uh, Red Fort, telling right. clean it, clean it. It's not you will have to go door to door. Somebody has, has to, to do, do it, it manually. You know, to the fishermen, yeah. I went the first time. The fishermen looked at me. I said, I'm a lawyer. I stay in this building. I've come to have a chat with you. They would look with amazement. Why would somebody from Warsaw walk into a fisherman village? We take all those jetty of Warsaw. We just cross over and run over to Malaya. Yeah. So then the conversation started. Okay, there's something drastically wrong in the community. And that was the disconnect between all of us. Plastic, pollution, garbage is just a consequence. Cleaning is a consequence. The disconnect between all of us has prompted this because the disconnect is this. This is not mine. This is not my problem. This is not mine. This beach is not mine. This water is not mine. This forest is not mine. These lakes are not mine. I have voted. I have paid my tax. Mr. Modi, please come and do it. I have voted you and I have paid your tax. I'll chase you for the next five years. But the planet is saying something else. And our constitution, which is like a Bible or Quran or Veda for us, is telling us, go connect. You need to be near the ocean. You need to be near the lake. And if we don't do it, the planet is eventually going to, like we can see that. Yeah. Mother Nature is calling out. I mean, Correct. Mother Nature is screaming for help right now. It's like uh, all the natural disasters. Yeah, if you ask a wrong question, you'll get a wrong answer. Completely. That's exactly what's happening in the narrative today. We are asking wrong questions. Do you think a politician sitting in Delhi would take care of your beach? Yeah. God damn it, I should go and do it. Because it's your beach and yeah, you're living absolutely. there. Absolutely. I should be walking on that beach. I should go for a swim there. Unfortunately, the status says I can't even put my hand in that water. Yeah. I'm cleaning one river, Mithi, which I just started three weeks back. I took like two hours just to decide, can I enter this river or no? Can I enter? It's a sewer. It's an artery of Mumbai, 18 kilometers, running from Bihar Lake to BKC. And then finally, I had to get all the gumboots, the mask properly so that I don't fall sick. Well, at least you're doing it, Afroz, yeah. and that's so incredible. Ya Karishma, Dr. Zareen Dheeraj, all of you, thank you so much you. for doing your bit yeah. for us. For us as people, for us as society, I really, really wanted to take a moment and tell all of you, they are doing their bit. Please do your bit. Donate on the link below. It is extremely important that we all take charge of our lives, our world, our planet, because it's the only one we have. Right? You guys are truly walking the talk, and I'm so inspired that you're making this happening. Thanks so, so much for being such an inspiration. Now, our next performer chose to take an issue and turn it into a song. Quite literally. Please welcome Pratichi Mohapatra featuring Diane Sequera. Woo -hoo!
So sulky, so so You had to see it coming, boy, that bitch is called your karma Bound within four walls, suppress the crying call Not audience, I'm on stage, time's up, out the case Hey, gandagi hai teri Mujh pe hai kyun girai Bin pooche kyun chua Teri ho ni hai sunwai Kitno ki hai ye kahani Corner looking at my cue cards. I saw. <laughs> you saw. I was fully vibing. So tell me what inspired you to make this song? You know, uh, for the past few years actually, not just in the recent times, I have been seeing the climate of the whole nation uh, where I feel women are feeling unsafe. Mm -hmm. uh, and we keep talking about empowerment for women and all of that. How does one even achieve that until we create those safe spaces? And uh, that was my trigger point. And um, so it just came from the heart because I have not met one woman out here who has not faced some sort of a, you know, um, a bad look to begin with or a, a unwanted touch. Some form of unsolicited. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not talking about the way bigger issues. I'm talking yeah, about yeah. even small things like that. So unless we feel safe, how do we even talk about empowerment? We That's need so to feel true. safe, yeah. That's an incredibly inspiring song. And just like she did, by the way, guys, you can all do your bit. Because when we say do your bit, it's not just about individuals making a difference. It's also about bringing people together and collectively driving change. And something like what you have done gets into people's minds and they do it. There have been amazing in initiatives around the world that have shown us how it's done. One such initiative is the Six Band Pack, which brings together some very special, talented individuals to make music. I want to show you how kids of the Sixth Pack Band 2.0, who have incredible music skills and infectious energy, are doing their bit to inspire others. Have a look. Known for his dry sense of humor and extremely humble behavior, this man has won a million hearts over the years. He's not just a sensation in the music industry, but also one of the finest actors from Punjab. Please welcome Diljit Dosanj. Thank you so much, Ji. Thank you so much for taking the time ki aap aaye. This is a very, very important day and I'm so happy ki aapne vakh liya yaha aane ke liye. Will you please tell us about the Sanj Foundation? Thank you, Ji. Sat Sri Kaal. Sat Sri Kaal. Sara Noom, Sat Sri Kaal Ji. Jinnne bhi tu si dekh rai sun rai ho. Meri English meri week hai ji. Haan, Hindi Punjabi. 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 Haan, Hindi सांझ फाउंडेशन कोई ऐसे सच हमने कोई जगह नहीं बना रखी सिर्फ हमारे जो फ्रेंड्स हैं जो कुछ कनाडा में रहते हैं कुछ पंजाब में हैं तो हम कभी हमें लगता है कि हम ये इस जगह पे हेल्प कर सकते हैं तो हम जो अपने फ्रेंड्स हैं वो सब मिलके कर लेते हैं बट मतलब उसका आइडिया कहाँ से आया सांझ फाउंडेशन जब आपने स्टार्ट किया था तो क्यों स्टार्ट किया था क्योंकि सोशल मीडिया से काफ़ी लेना देना है इसका इसलिए मैं पूछ रही हूँ हाँ हाँ एक्चुअली इवन अभी सांझ फाउंडेशन जब हमने स्टार्ट किया था तब मेरा बर्थडे था मुझे याद है और कुछ मैं दस ग्यारह साल से था जब मैं अपने गांव से शहर आ गया था तब कोई मेरे साथ बर्थडे मनाता नहीं था मैं अपनी फैमिली को छोड़ के आया था तो तब कुछ मेरे फ्रेंड्स ने बोला चलो हम मिल कुछ किसी जो अनाथ बच्चे हैं उनके साथ मनाते हैं जब मैं उनसे मिला तब मुझे लगा कि यार नहीं हमें कुछ करना चाहिए हम जब जितने भी फ्रेंड्स हैं मिलके कुछ कर सकते हैं जिनको ज़रूरत है तो वहाँ से आइडिया स्टार्ट हुआ था तो जब हम जैसे हम लोगों को बहुत बोलने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं आज कि डू योर बिट जो आप कर सकते हो अपनी तरफ से उतना भी करोगे तो काफ़ी होता है आपके लिए और जो आपके दोस्त हैं जिन्होंने ये साँझ फाउंडेशन बनाया है कि हम दूसरों के लिए कर सकते हैं हमारी जो सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है 
आप कैसे बोलेंगे आपके फैंस को या जो लोग अभी देख रहे हैं हमारे पास थ्री मिलियन लोग अभी देख रहे हैं स्ट्रीम कर रहे हैं कि हमारी जो सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एज इंडिविजुअल्स एज सिटीजन एज पीपल जो दुनिया के बारे में केयर करते हैं जो हमारे प्लानट के बारे में केयर करते हैं हमारे देश के बारे में केयर करते हैं वो कैसे कर सकते हैं अपना काम अपना बेट पर मुझे लगता है कि हर बंदा करता है किसी से भी आप बात करते हो कि यार यहाँ हेल्प करने की जरूरत है तो मुझे आज तक किसी बंदे ने मना नहीं किया लेकिन आपको पूछना पड़ा मैं बोल रही हूँ हर इंसान बिना किसी और के पूछे हुए जैसे अगर आप मुझसे पूछे तो मैं जरूर बोलूंगी हाँ हाँ मुझे हेल्प करना है। लेकिन हम इंडिविजुअल करते हैं सब मुझे लगता है सब तो नहीं करते। नहीं शायद कोई बताए या नहीं बताए मुझे बताने वाली बात तो है हाँ, कि दूसरों को दिखा के हाँ, करने हाँ, पर मुझे मैंने जितने भी बंदों के साथ भी बात की मुझे किसी ने ऐसा नहीं कहा कि यार नहीं हम नहीं करना चाहते नहीं दस मैं कह रही हूँ की अगर हम अगर हम लोग सब कर रहे होते तो हमारी कितनी संख्या में प्रॉब्लम कम होती तो मैं उन लोगों से बात कर रही हूँ जो लोग मोस्टली बोलते हैं कि अरे हमारे पास गवर्नमेंट है ना ये करने के लिए या अभी हम लोग अफरोज से बात कर रहे थे जैसे कचरा साफ करवाया उन्होंने पूरा वर्सोवा बीच का मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल जो वहाँ रह रहे थे बोल रहे थे हमने तो गवर्नमेंट को वोट किया है ना उनका काम है बट बीच तो आप रह रहे हो ना वहाँ पे नहीं कर पाए वो लोग तो आप कैसे अपने आप से हम लोग सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी होती है जो अपनी जो आवाम की जनता की जो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है छोटी छोटी चीज़ों में वो हम कैसे लोग कर सकते हैं अपने आप में कि आपके अंदर वो क्या बात होनी चाहिए कि हाँ हमारे पास जैसे मेरी माँ हमेशा मुझे कहती थी जब मैं छोटी थी कि आप जहाँ पे भी हो जितने भी बुरे हो आपका आपके सर्कमस्टेंसेस आपसे बुरे सर्कमस्टेंसेस में कोई और ज़रूर होगा तो उस वो चीज़ ना मेरे दिमाग में रही हमेशा चाहे जो भी हुआ मेरी ज़िंदगी में मुझे शेयरिंग केयरिंग कम्पैशनेट होना या अपने तरी अपनी तरफ से एक टेंजबल स्टेप लेना ज़रूरी था जिसमें मैं कुछ कर पाऊँ अब काफ़ी लोग सोचते हैं कि अरे एक इंसान क्या कर लेगा मैं क्या कर लूँगी मैं उस माइंडसेट की बात कर रही हूँ हाँ आप सही बात कर रहे हो मुझे लगता है करना सब चाहते हैं हो जाता है कई बार कि कुछ अपने काम में कोई ऐसा हो गया कि यार चलो यार ये हमारी जॉब नहीं है गवर्नमेंट देख रही या है इसको या बिजी हो गया आप अपने काम में हाँ ये बात सच है लेकिन कैनेडा में डिफेंस मिनिस्टर हैं सज्जन सिंह जी जो हमारे पंजाबी हैं उन्होंने एक बहुत अच्छी बात मुझे बोली थी जब मैं उनसे मिला तो उन्होंने बोला कि दिलजीत तुम क्या ले पाए हो इस दुनिया से या इस समाज से इस, इस तो ये उतना इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है ये इम्पोर्टेंट है कि तुम वापस क्या दे पा रहे हो अगर तुम्हें मिला है तो वो इसीलिए मिला है कि तुम वापस क्या दे पाओगे तो मुझे लगता है कि हर किसी को कुछ ना कुछ जितना भी मुकाम भगवान ने दिया है तो उसका ये फ़र्ज़ बनता है कि वो वापस क्या दे पाता है अपनी कम्यूनिटी को इट्स सो इम्पोर्टेंट ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू नो हम लोग अपनी तरफ से जैसे जैसे हम लोग कहते हैं कि जो जो लोगों के पास पैसे हैं या जिन लोगों की ज़िंदगी अच्छी है उनकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ज़रूर होती है अपनी सोसाइटी का ख्याल रखना एंड जैसे आप देखेंगे बड़े बड़े कंपनीज सोशल इनिशिएटिव्स करते हैं बड़े बड़े लोग चैरिटी फाउंडेशंस करते हैं हम लोगों में वो क्षमता है बट जो जनरल आवाम है अगर बस माइंड की बात होती है जैसे हम जैसे हम दिलजीत के साथ बात कर रहे हैं उनके और उनके दोस्तों ने सोचा कि हम क्यों नहीं कर सकते Why can't we do better for society? And they decided to create a foundation. जरूरी नहीं कि आप foundation create करें जरूरी नहीं कि आप अपना अपना wallet खाली करें अपनी जिंदगी में से आपके आस पास के लोग जो हैं अगर आपको कोई बच्चा दिखाई दे गया जो बेचारा school नहीं जा पा रहा आप उसके education को fund कर दो या अगर कोई बच्चे खाना नहीं खा पा रहे आपके neighborhood में आप उनको खाना दिलवा दो छोटी छोटी चीज़ें हम लोग अपनी तरफ से कर सकते हैं दूसरे लोगों से बात करना और बोलना कि Uh, हम अपनी नेबरहुड में जो ज़रूरी चीज़ें हैं उनको कैसे इन्फ्लुएंस कर सकते हैं अगर आई थिंक हमें सिटीजन अवेयर हो जाएं इस बारे में तो ये देश कितना दूर जा सकता है और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हमारे लोग जल्दी धर्म से जब रिलेट कर जाते हैं तो इजी समझ जाते हैं बात जब मैं छोटा था तो हम घर पर और माँ ने सिर्फ यही बताया था कि जब भी तुम कमाने लगो तो हमारे पंजाबी में बोलते हैं कि दसवां ज़रूर निकालो दसवां हिस्सा ज़रूर निकालो तो मुझे लगता है कि ये ये सब चीज़ें भी धर्म में शायद इसीलिए इंक्लूड की गई कि कहीं ना कहीं हम सब एक दूसरे की हेल्प कर सकें तो दसवंध सारा नुक करना चाहिए आप सबको अपना दसवंध निकालना चाहिए अपने धर्म को अपना कर्म बनाओ दिलजीत आपको कोई भी लास्ट वर्ड्स हैं अपने फैंस के लिए और लोगों के लिए जो आपको इतना पसंद करते हैं थैंक यू सो मच नहीं थैंक यू सो मच और ये बहुत बड़ा मंच है मैं बहुत छोटा आर्टिस्ट हूँ और थैंक यू सो मच आपने मुझे बुलाया और मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच आपके जाने से पहले मैं एक आपको एक सिक्स सिक्स पैक बैंड का ए वी दिखाना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि ये इतने टैलेंटेड बच्चे हैं वी शुड जस्ट वॉच इट टूगेदर प्लीज लेट सी इट वन इन सिक्सटी एट किड्स आर विक्टम्स ऑफ अ न्य
they repeat things continuously they fail to make friends they fail to blend in as a result society ostracizes them labels them calls them mad dumb crazy thus was born india's first special band the six pack band 2.0 featuring six special kids with special needs despite the challenges of dyslexia autism and down syndrome these six teenagers were very gifted singers the special band has already brought millions of people together to deliberate converse and share the cause of mental health and this is just the beginning inspiring ek nahi hai amazing amazing isn't it amazing? amazing thank you so thank much you, thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much really means well, a lot see, to nice us meeting. thank you thank so you, much thank you so much so i have just realized that we are almost at the end of the live athon but 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 hold your horses badai ho hamare paas ek aur guest hai allah chisi ho rahe joining us on the chat is ayushman khurana he's not only popular for his unique choices of films but also for his soothing voice an anchor writer and social media influencer hello hello, hello. we have the incomparable ayushman khurana with us hey ayushman through the day today i have heard so many incredible stories about people who are doing their own bit hmm. in different ways now i want to hear from you what do you think about doing your bit how do we use social media or the power of social that we have to do your own bit i realize one thing that uh, cricketers and cricket and cinema these are the two the best or biggest entities in our country mm -hmm. people who are related to cricket or cinema mm -hmm. uh, they are just there they are the natural influencers they are the opinion leaders and it's time for us to give it back to the society there's a certain social responsibility like i um, i do movies which are of course socially relevant which are taboo breaking for the past 6 years it's been happening like that but apart from that i also uh, support an ngo called gulmehar in delhi mm -hmm. they work towards uh, betterment of rag pickers in east delhi wow. and they are the ones who are human scavengers and yes. they discover their creative side and i buy their products and most of my diwali gifts they make them so that's yeah so, so that's my small way of this so but that's an incredible yeah. way of of you know being able to do your bit we've met so many amazing people today who have done this earlier in the day i spoke about how i've used my social media hmm. to sort of highlight and give people magnify people's voices yeah. people who may not have been able to have that kind of vo voice who didn't have a platform to share it with maybe have you done that have you been able have you done that do you have a point of view on using social media in a way to highlight like you did this because a lot of people say ki acha when you do charity mm -hmm. if you talk about it it you know it looks like we are especially as public people yeah. that it looks like hum publicity ke liye kar rahe hain mm -hmm. but like i saw when i talked about these individual stories mm -hmm. i had so many people who were investing mm -hmm. in these individual people yeah. and eventually hum log to conduits hai na we are the mm -hmm. messengers yeah we can't make crazy changes yeah. we are not law makers what we can do is magnify um the problem so that there can be a debate there can be a conversation mm -hmm. so what do you think about using social and talking about things that need attention i guess most of the people who are in public eye mm -hmm. they will be scrutinized always there will be a critical eye towards them people will be skeptical ye to publicity liye kar raha hai sirf film promote karne ke liye social media pe aata hai uh, to begin with you should put your own personality first like who are you are you going to are you trying to hide something just be yourself on social media but apart from that to give it back uh, i have started one thing collaboration with social media uh, with with facebook uh, during world music day i announced one initiative to just uh, you know there was a talent hunt i, I there's a talent hunt which i want to launch with right. facebook uh, to to just pick up talent who like who are unique who are novel and they sing or dance or whatever and jam with me as musicians and uh, open my gigs when i travel across the globe or india and and just headline the gig that's so i think it would be a good opportunity for them but well, that's a great opportunity to yeah. create because you have such an amazing opportunity mm -hmm. and you're giving so many other people such an amazing opportunity now as an artist apart from acting there are so many other ways that you express hmm. yourself right yeah. so um i have heard hmm. <laughs> that we have a special little well you also write poetry yeah right um <clears throat> which i think you have to know how to do if you're a musician not really 
Yeah, I've been writing stuff for my theatre group yeah. in Chandigarh. Yeah. We used to write our own street plays, stage plays. I did music. So you've always been a writer. Yeah, uh, but it, it, people think it's a newfound love or new discovery. But I've always been writing. I've written my songs also. Uh, I never thought that my poetry will get that kind of traction. Right. But it's amazing. It just shows that the youth of today is they just queued in to all the mantos and ghalibs and premchands. You know all these big names. They 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 know about these people, which is amazing. And they like culture. Yeah, they like culture. We and are one of the few countries in the world that actually has that kind of culture. Yeah, yeah. Would you recite one of your poems? I will. Uh, this this is a kavita called Mukhote. Okay. Uh, it goes like Swarachit kavita hai. Chehre mukhote hai, mukhote hi to chehre hai. Andar ka ram jala diya, kaise ulte pade dashere hai. Apni hi awaz sun na paaye, ham poon roop se behre hai. मन की नदी उफान पा न सकी हम दिखते कितने गहरे हैं कि मुखौटे कोई उतार न ले लगा दिए लाखों पहरे हैं चेहरे ये मुखौटे हैं मुखौटे ही तो चेहरे हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच ना वाइल यू आर हियर आयुष्मान आई वांट टू मेक वी हैव a caller with uh -huh. us we've been gratifying callers yeah. who've been donating hmm. and you're going to be my gift to him <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going he's one of our highest donors today okay. hello Hi. Hi. What's Hi, your name? Oh, it's a girl. Hi. What's your name? Yeah. My name is Azza, and I'm a doctor. So Sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear your name. My name is Azza. A Z B A S. Difficult to spell. Azza. Azza. What a cool name. Yeah. I have Aishman yeah. Gurana here with me also, and we both really, really, oh, really I... wanted to thank you for your incredible donation. Please tell me what is the cause you donated to, and why. Hi Priyanka and hi Ashman. I have Azda. donated for a cause. Hi, uh, I have donated for the cause that is no health without mental health. So I have basically donated for mental health. Hmm. Amazing. And why did you feel the need to do that, Azda? That was because me being a doctor, we've been taught that it's not just uh, health is not just something which is concerned with your physical and social well-being. It is something. It is a, basically a, a huge part of your mental health as well. So there are things beyond the reach of our paracetamols and our injections, and ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. That uh, that is anxiety, depression, which we are seeing all around us. So it's quite good to support these causes. Mental health is something which is hidden, like the iceberg. We are not able to see it. You know, there are no specific signs. Absolutely. Symptoms, but this is some of things which is uh, coming up uh, in these days. So that I thought that I must support it, being a doctor as well as. a social media influencer i must support this cause thank you that's so much azza that means so much to us because that's all we've been asking yeah. for we've asked people to become more conscientious towards society towards their responsibilities and use social media for what it was supposed to be which is for good i would like to really really thank you and so will aishman thank you thank you thank you so much priyanka <laughs> thank you thank you so much azza bye Now, before I let you go, and before I let him go, I heard there's some. Somebody is telling me there's some surprise, some video that has come for us. Can we have a look at that, please? Hi, Priyanka, and all of you present today at the Facebook Social for Good Liveathon. Hi, Chops, and everyone there with you. Hi, this is Vidya Balan. Hi, PC, and everyone who's part of the event and part of so hashtag Social for Good. Many congratulations on this great initiative. Social for Good is a wonderful cause. A big, big congratulations to Priyanka Chopra and the Facebook team for the hashtag Social for Good Liveathon. Uh, I, for one, am a big believer and supporter of people coming together. Um, to help those in need as for me i've always been extremely passionate about the environment about nature about uh, wildlife about the planet on the whole and i've always tried in my own little way to you know to create awareness now in the very beginning i was very 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 upset and very angry with all the trolling that used to happen then i became indifferent and now i'm in the glorious stage of amusement i'm exceptionally amused by all the negative nasty things that people say about me about what i wear about you know maybe things related to me personally about my films and just who i am i only do things that i feel very very passionately about and i feel that when we do whatever we can passionately and honestly it makes a huge difference now i'm amused because i believe three types of people are really spending a lot of time online and spreading the negativity unhappy unattractive and unemployed 
and if you're either of the three you will spread that kind of negativity but all my best wishes full power to you and everybody else social for good is a great thing to do and let's make this place a better place to be in. no step is a big or small just put your best foot forward and let's make this world a better place thank you I hope you're enjoying the event and all of you watching this I've understood that eventually you have to be in a stage of amusement with all the trolls that surround you and are around you at every given point of time enjoy the event guys and I'm really sorry I couldn't be there with you today so yeah I've, I've come to realize that social media is an extremely powerful tool these days uh, it just needs to be used the right way and I really do hope that initiatives like these can help kickstart a chain reaction of sorts and you know people can start doing their bit to make a difference because uh, i think that that's all we really need today four hours this has been an incredible day it's so amazing not only did we have some truly inspiring insightful conversations but i'm also extremely proud to announce that we have encouraged 15000 plus people to donate for various social causes we've received support from over 57 cities all around the world. Now, there are 14,000 seconds in four hours, which means we've had more than a donation per second. And this is usually where I say, thank you so much. Thank you so much for paying attention to this. Thank you so much for giving us an ear. Thank you so much for understanding how important this is. I have to say this amazing, amazing day has come to an end. But today, I really want to say that this is where we start something new. We start something big. The power that we have at our fingertips has the potential to change the world. So please, let's use it for the positive. Now, I've heard that the hope is where the progress is. The world is changing, the world is changing. And the one who has said it, he is with us today. Let's welcome Nirmika, who has written these beautiful lines and composed an anthem especially for this day. Thank you so much, boys and girls, and I will see you on the other side. But please don't forget that the donations that we are talking about are open until the next seven days. Make your actions count by donating whatever you can for whatever you want to and continue to do good. Hashtag social for good. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much, Priyanka, for those kind words. We're so happy to be here today performing social for good. It is indeed our honor to be playing this song for you guys live. And I think one of the biggest, biggest things to, you know, to change the world is to start conversations. Or Priyanka, aapne yehi kiya. you started these very insightful conversations. And we are most happy to present Social for Good. Here we go. It's a fine weather because we are together. Kuch to kaise hai? It's a fine weather because we are together. Kuch to kaise hai? Hmm, teri muskurahat se hi dunia hai salamat. Uche mere khap hai. Naya hai zamana ab nahi hai dag magana. Naya hai zamana ab nahi hai dag magana. I'm feeling so good, good, good. Or to me, Satho. I'm feeling so good, good, good. Or to me, Satho. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so good, good, 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 good. I'm feeling so good,
feeling so good, good, good. Oh, the tune that I saw the whole. I'm feeling so good, good, good. Oh, the tune that I saw the whole. I'm feeling so good, good, good. Oh, the tune that I saw the whole. I'm feeling so good. कुछ ऐसे बदले दुनिया कि हर ख्वाब बेलगाम हो कुछ ऐसे बदले दुनिया कि हर प्यार बेशुमार हो कुछ ऐसे बदले दुनिया कि आंच तुझ पर आए कभी तो दिल मेरा बेकरार हो कुछ ऐसे बदले दुनिया कि हर ख्वाब बेलगाम हो हर प्यार बेशुमार हो अगर आंच तुझ पर आए कभी तो दिल मेरा बेकरार हो कुछ ऐसे बदले दुनिया कि हर मौसम में बाहर हो नया है जमाना अब नहीं है डगमगाना नया है जमाना अब नहीं है डगमगाना क्या मेरा क्या तुम्हारा संसार है